Hi, Pisces. Boundaries, protection, shielding your energy is so crucial right now. You've gone through anxiety, perhaps sleepless night, a definite death and rebirth, and you'll see the, the spread here of oracles. And later we'll get into your tarot. But there's a definite cycle that is completed. There is a death process internally, especially, that has happened. And you have the Six of Swords that came twice. Here, you have going toward common waters. And that's from that Nine of Swords, anxiety. And you have done so because you have gone into the hermit, hermit mode. Perhaps you're still in this process, but definitely this transformation that has been taking place has to do with you stepping into your personal power. Your power is when you protect yourself, when you get into the wholeness of you. And when we talk about that, it's not abstract. It's truly that you feel your body. We talked about the root chakra yesterday, and it's very prominent right now. The sense of safety, of security. But truly, you feel in your body, in your emotions, here. You feel yourself. Because you as an empath, highly sensitive, you are always trying to please, trying to help. And that has been the issue. Right now there's been probably a tower moment, or the tower hasn't come here, but I wouldn't be surprised that it comes in a tarot. You have gone through such depth, had such break, that there's no other way for you now to as you move forward, only step into here, you, me, and feel yourself. It's very tangible, it's very physical. The, the emotion pertains to the body. And so when you don't feel your body, and usually that means that you're tense, because when you're tense, you can't really feel yourself. You're just a block. Right? You can't feel the flow of energy, you can't feel your heart, you can't feel your vibration. And thus, your emotions also are contracted. So when you actually get to that relaxation, that is at every moment aware of itself, that's the key, especially when you are within communities, within other people, you need to always keep that sense of center of feeling the whole body feeling you what would make me feel good in this moment am i doing me because if not there is a, a death of purpose there's a death and we saw that yesterday a death of what really means to you what is meaningful to you what is your you right and that that, that is that in an ego way it's truly deeper than that. It's feeling your presence beyond the illusion. You have here the illusion. You have perhaps gone through situations where you were very open and you kind of fell into the illusion, into the manipulation of other people because of your beautiful heart, Pisces. And so here, as you've been regenerating, you're going to be ready for the world. This cycle is complete. You are being called to take action right now, to put in the work. And remember that as you have gone through this death and rebirth process, and you're still going through it, to not get too serious. Yeah, we tend to also get into that. Uh, and that's contraction again. This is important. Now I'm gonna get over focused and then um, get stressed out with myself. So it's this balance, this thin balance, Pisces, where we talk about perhaps relaxed focus. That's in the Zen of the Buddhist tradition, in the meditation, where we are truly 
harnessing our mind, our focus, but in a gentle way, right? And that also calls to creativity. When you're in the flow, there's a sense of easiness, but it can only come from that point of center, that point of focus, and that sense of whatever distractions are coming our way. We, whatever happens, are aligned with the universe. You have aligned your universe, navigate distractions. Distractions could be anything. It could be all of your triggers, and you know what it is for yourself. We all have perhaps triggers when it comes to um, love, when it comes to attachments, when it comes to power play, um, all of the lower stuff, right? The drama, the ego, the illusion. And so as we are going higher, we need to center ourselves in that and anchor ourselves in that. You have here inner strength. Move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power again, this personal power. So important right now because Pisces, yeah, again, before I continue, shield your energy. So, this whole protection, shield your energy, align yourself, um, come back to wholeness, protect, take the lead. It's the power of who you are, Pisces. Shield your energy, look beneath the surface. Because if you don't, you get manipulated. That means that as you protect yourself, again, it's not against anyone, it's not a fight. It's solely a focus, an internal focus of here, of presence. And this naturally shields you. This naturally moves you towards the calm within and thus towards the calm in your life, towards external circumstances that are going to be more beneficial for you because you are going to go only like the chariot on that path, that focused path that is you with a big Y, right? It's not the little Y that is the egoic one. Um, take the lead take the lead and we talked about that you getting into the power of the impresario of the ceo of the leader that you are um often you doubt yourself pisces and now you are starting to go deeper transform this death and rebirth of scorpionic energy where from that weakness within you are rising, you are recognizing who you are, what you're supposed to be doing, and not budging from it. You're recognizing that magic magic works through you, scarab beetle spirit. You truly are magical Pisces. And what I wanted to talk to you about is this abundance, Lakshmi, ten of pentacles, ten of earth coming through. So a lot of abundance, a lot of beautiful energy is coming your way Pisces a lot of recognition a lot of success is coming your way as you get into the Queen of Earth which is the Queen of Pentacle which has to do with the grounding perhaps some of you need to reconnect with nature get out but it's for me here is more reconnecting with your own root chakra your own presence your own physical body your own emotions your own heart that has nothing to do with anyone else it's each and every one of us has this unique thing that pertains to us that we are supposed to create to manifest to express and you will feel what that is if you go deeper you will sense a sense of joy within you when you're thinking about that thing or when the insight comes right so as you reclaim your mind and you navigate the distractions there's a boat coming through you are going to be able to go towards the six of sword on the waters now everything that is happening could have to do with communication we are in gemini season mercury where mercury directs has to do with communication it's the right time now to make decisions but also 
when you are talking to speak from your truth. You have Joan of Arc here, voice of truth. Stand strong, focus on your purpose, release the fear of persecution, and speak your truth, Pisces. If people don't recognize the immense work that is the spiritual work, if they just see you as you just sitting and not doing anything, for example, when actually you know, Pisces, that when you're sitting, when you need that space, those hours that you need alone to be in meditation, to be in contemplation, to do your work, to get the inspiration from the divine, all that is sacred. It's a sacred space that if people are too material to recognize the power of that, they are not supposed to be in your life. And you have to claim that. You have to claim that space. You have to explain what that is and give them the chance to understand, at least respect if they don't truly understand and see that you are doing a lot of work, that it's not about not doing anything, right? This is really crucial here. And so you being a hermit mode retreat is not against anyone it's you shouldn't feel bad about that you shouldn't feel like a split between you and the world it's just that you are at this time needing that space okay because you are asked to practice 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 they're talking about your skills here as you practice you're going to perfection perfection it uh, your skills and your talents and you're gonna also become more confident as you do the you do the do right as you walk your talk you are gonna become more confident as you are in action Pisces they are also saying here that to keep faith because here everything is going into your favor so truly when I see ten of pentacle Lakshmi abundance I mean it is the reality of it so don't stay stuck in the, let's say, five of cups energy and uh, the past, the regrets. They're saying here, the vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. Nothing is ever wasted. Everything we go through, it's just our judgment that say this is good, this is bad. But everything we go through is just life passing through by saying um, we are learning from every single circumstance. So there's nothing wasted. There's no time wasted. Okay? And so here, they're saying the Holy Spirit, expect miracles. Remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. So again, get back to that relaxed focus, right? For some of you, they're talking about autumn, maybe October, which is when we have Saturn actually retrograde here. So that's where we're feeling this pressure of actually acting, doing the stuff, taking action. Um, and it's going to go direct in October, I believe. So things are, they're saying here that things will integrate, you know, that things will probably manifest fully in perhaps uh, October or November. Talking about the fall here. They're saying that you will, the, the seed that you sow right now, you will, will take their fruit. At this time so that's like a six months six months period so very important the four six month period right now you're starting something and you need to now go for it it's time Pisces okay and truly keep a gentle touch we have love and light here act with care love and light and this is this purple is really t calling to third eye as well and the crown chakra this divine energy that is sweet love, that is pure, that is kind, that is innocent. This is, as you're protecting yourself, don't, again, I said, don't protect yourself in an angry way, right? It's truly, solely just coming back inside. That's all it is, because you're always so outside, okay? And that you can feel physically. Watch yourself. That's what we call awareness, mindfulness. It's just to be watching yourself be conscious of what is happening right so let's get into your tarot here and there was one more here what is she saying oh yeah well that was a root chakra earth connection Gaia be mindful of the planet come back to earth stay grounded so again this grounding because that's your power 
and that it is your protection. It's here, right? here yeah let's continue with just those cards we have the hangman energy coming through here and that is speaking to you know perhaps in this retreat mode in this hermit mode you're taking a pause in your life which is beautiful um the world is coming through again um and that is also as you're doing so perhaps you're changing perspective of yourself perhaps or also of your situation perhaps you're finding answers maybe ways to navigate um a calmer more tranquil life but truly it feels that the answer here is as you reclaim your energy and you refocus on your own purpose if you slowly stay here in this power it will all fall into place okay so this is after all of that maybe six months period or a year well you've been a little bit scattered or trying this or that you know all of that here there's a circle you're coming back to zero coming back to you going back to the truth of you yeah transformation so much that has to do with that this whole transformation this uh, soul retrieval um, putting the fragments back together into wholeness this whole circle the world this is what we're talking about and as you've transformed and closed the cycle you know when we transform we, there has to be breaks so that everything goes chaotic and you can't find your way right we were a lot in that for last month now there's an integration happening there is a clarity coming through and as everything was broken now is being put back together by itself as you're here and there's a clarity and a calm that comes with that patience type of sword be patient with your own mind as well so patience five of air that's the tense mind that we talked about before if you are there's a lot of sword that were coming through before right six of sword is the best card of the sword but it's still swords so a lot is happening and the six has to do with harmony with finding this harmony it has um, a connotation of things being around like the world like a circle like the globe and this calm you know when there's no sharpness to it. There's a sense of love and light that we saw before. There is a, a tranquility and a sense of safety as well, this bubble, this protection that is coming through. And so don't let your mind manipulate you or don't let others manipulate you. You have, you're gonna have to be patient when it comes to perhaps mind games with others or your own mind playing with you, okay? So it's all about how you are gonna stay balanced look at how you know balanced she is with one foot in the air there right this ballerina she is navigating the distractions she's staying centered and her equilibrium her balance is non-budging King of fire so we have seen this king of wands a lot um, a huge heart here the king of wands you know Leo Sagittarius Aries this is someone who also takes the lead this could be you that needs to get into that power you know and that's the masculine energy right now to allowing yourself to live in your power and do the do right and this could also be someone in your life. We do have a Knight of Wands here coming through as well, Messenger of Fire. So very strong fire energy, passionate here. Knight of Wands can be a bit in and out. Maybe this person was a bit in and out, but 
if the one that is coming in the spread is a king. So from the knight, we have a king here. Perhaps this person has evolved, has matured, or is maturing. Yeah, at the heart of your read, you have the Ten of Cups, Pisces, Ten of Water. And it's this Buddha that is laughing. Remember, we had laughter that is calm, that is tranquil, that has found. You know, when you find your truth, when you find your purpose, and you're full, you're whole of your, in yourself, nothing can really take you off guard. Nothing can take you off course. Nothing, you know, there is emotions, all of that, but there is such profoundity and in understanding yourself and the world and the games that here you are asked to just be patient that your ten of cups is going to be coming that this is the happy ever after this is emotional fulfillment this is everything you could wish for yeah, and we have six of wands underneath six of fire, which is success. So it's going to be successful, but you need to believe in that. You know, you need to, every action, every moment that you take right now, you need to be focused on exactly that, your heart. What is it in your heart that wants to, that vibrates, that makes you feel joy, right? Five of Wands, Five of Fire. Yeah, so two fives here, Five of Sword, and underneath now we have the Five of Wands. So change, a lot of change, and that's drama, ego drama, that's fights. And here we have underneath the Ace of Air, the Ace of Sword, which has to do with divine clarity. Fine, and speaking its truth, you know, this white uh, Pegasus here. It's freedom, freedom of speech, Pisces. You need to speak up and that will bring you to the sun to the blessings to the illumination but you need to truly not be afraid now to speak who you are this power you have the power you will navigate through those fives five of swords mind here and bonds would be the ego the world the material world so all of that um let's say those challenges within yourself or also externally I see both here are going to be resolved as you work through with your inside as you walk your talk and you focus you reclaim your mind and your energy yeah and you do so by healing four of sword here for the air has to do with taking the time out time out hermit mode of air underneath speaking your truth finding your truth in silence finding your truth as you heal pisces mm -hmm. and the fool that came yesterday in the other deck new, new new journey here as you heal you transform as we've seen you will go towards common waters we had this example twice so it's very clear here that as everything has been broken now everything is slowly but surely patient falling back into place okay this is taking a leap of faith as well with yourself with the world but truly surrendering as well it's a new start it's aries energy it's going for it and having faith really having faith yeah from that three of sword all of that um anxiety heartbreaks pain pisces you are it's like a a new day bright and shiny here it's a new start a new birth and to hopefully really at this time your true purpose your true life what is aligned with you and only that for that step into your power one more for Pisces what are people think Pisces you're different you can't always be thinking about what other people think right it will bring perhaps your decision your truth perhaps will bring 
um, misunderstandings, people not understanding you, fights or uh, mental games, mind games, saying, oh, you can't do that, or this is not possible, or people just not understanding you. But you just need to be patient with those people and just retreat and just know who you are and not be afraid of speaking your truth. And you know what is your ten of cups. You know. You know what is in your heart. Nobody else has your heart or, you know, so you need to be faithful to that. Whatever people say. Now, as for only one, but we have two. The Ten of Fire, which is Ten of Wands, and the King of Water, King of Cups. Beautiful. So, Ten of Wands here. Again, this number 10, this cycle that is complete. You have been burning all of that past, all of that suffering. And you are now getting into this more balanced, emotionally balanced energy. This could also be a water sign doesn't have to be but this could also be um love it could be someone who is coming with um a message here it is not a night but i'm feeling this is what is coming through a message of love because we have this um king here that is talking to this fish as you can see and you know we had the fire element here with the heart so this could be also two people but also this could be a fire energy that has emotions so there's here the emotion by the taking action right there's the two involved and actually yeah this fire with a ten of wands is coming it came with the, the water so this is very interesting this has to do with burning dissolving to be reborn clean in the water, right? The water is purifying, cleans, cleanses you, purifies you. So very interesting. I feel that here you have burned also all the negative emotions from the past so that you have come to this equilibrium. Let's see what is underneath. Yeah, <laughs> underneath is love, Pisces. Yeah, so the lovers here. Number six coming through again, very important. This choice, mm, soulmate energy, twin flame energy as well coming through. But I'm seeing that there is more balance taking place. There's justice coming through. You are speaking your truth. The scales are being balanced and you just need to be patient, Pisces. You have seven, seven here, seven of pentacle and seven, which is seven of earth, seven of wands, which is seven of fire patience and step into your power that's a bit defensive but it's you need to you need to really be you and not give up on that this grounding right and that will enable this beautiful new start ace of wands okay so this ace of wands is through the spark of the divine it's also very passionate if it has to do with um, a particular person. It could be a very intense relationship as well, as we have this King of Fire here. A lot of emotions I'm seeing. Uh, there's been a lot of difficulties, but we're seeing healing. We're seeing a whole new start, clean slate, number zero, the full, Aries taking action, getting into your power, Pisces, and getting moving. You have the Three of Wands, that is coming up to the two of wands. So from the planning, the observing, the organizing, there is actually going for it now. Okay, Pisces. So I love you. I hope this was helpful and I will see you very soon. Peace.